Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be learning about the Generative AI and in this particular video, we will be learning the different ways to use the Generative AI in the context of software testing. So let's begin. Before diving into the Generative AI, let's understand what is AI itself. So AI is basically an artificial intelligence and when we talk about the artificial intelligence, so we are basically referring the capability of the machines to simulate the human intelligence behavior. Now, it involves the tasks like learning, problem solving, decision making, understanding a language and so on. Now, what is generative AI? So, generative AI is basically a type of AI which creates a new content. Now, when you talk about the new content here, so we are talking about creating a new text, images, audio, codes based on the patterns learned from the existing data. Now, ChatGPT we are using on the daily basis is, is the prime example of basically a generative AI. So, ChatGPT is a generative AI where you can generate the text, code and conversation. So, when we talk about the chat, so basically we are talking about ChatGPT can write the documentations, can generate the test cases, ChatGPT can explain the code, even create the bug reports. So, this is all the context in terms of the text. Now, when we talk about the code, so it can write the code, it can optimize the code, explain the code snippet using the automation testing. Now, the third thing is conversations. So, when we talk about the conversations, so we are saying that ChatGPT can simulate the test scenarios and provide the conversational responses to the testing queries. So, this is the capabilities of generative AI. Now, what we need to do is that we need to understand on the high level, how generative AI basically works. Generative AI models like ChatGPT work by training on the large data sets to understand the context and generate the relevant responses based on the given input. So, training on the large data sets, understanding the context and generation of the output. So, when we talk about the learning or the training on the large data sets, so ChatGPT basically learns the patterns from the massive data sets which includes books, articles, programming codes, and dollar, and so on. So it and it doesn't understand like the humans, but mimics the patterns. Now the second thing is understanding the context. So it processes the input, for example, the questions or the instructions we provide, and uses its learned knowledge, learned knowledge to provide the relevant answer. Now the third step is the generation of the output. So Training from the large data, understanding the context in terms of it processes the input from the questions or the instructions, and then third, the generation of output. So it generates the new content, new content such as code, test cases, bug summaries by predicting the most likely the next word or the concept based on the context. So when we are writing the prompts in the chat GPT, we need to be very much sure that what exactly we are asking from the chat GPT. Okay. Now let's go to the chat GPT and I'll demonstrate to you some important day to day activities where QA should use the chat GPT or the generative AI. And I have already written the prompts which I will share in the description. So let's go to the chat GPT and see how it works. Now, the first thing is that as a testers, we need to write the test cases from the requirements or the user stories. The first thing is that to generate the test cases. The more information you provide to the chat GPT because it's a generative AI. So we need to provide the context. We need to provide each and everything which exactly we need. You cannot just say write the test cases. What kind of test cases you want? either positive test cases, negative test cases, which functionality you want, okay? So when you are writing a prompt, it should be descriptive in nature, exactly what you want. So I have a couple of examples already written. So let's uh, go to my notepad here. So first thing is that generate the test cases from the user stories or the requirement. So I have written a very simple on the high level prompt. And this prompt says, generate the test cases for the login functionality where user enters a username and password. Now, this is the high level requirement, but in case you have a very descriptive requirement where username should have a specific type or password have a specific type, there's some validations, two factor authentication, whatever, 
how the requirement is being there, you need to ask the chat JPT and provide all the context in the same way. Okay, so now let's uh, just copy this one from here and just go to the chat JPT over here and simply press enter. Now you see that uh, chat GPT is generating the test cases, positive test cases, negative test cases based on the data is already learned. Okay, so we're saying that this, these are the positive test cases. We have already provided that input username and password, expected this. So you see that we have been provided with a very good set of test data. But right now, the problem with this test cases is that our functionality might not be working on this principle a very long but it's a generic so that's why what i'm suggesting is that whenever you are asking the chat jpt you need to ensure that you provide all the context in terms of the requirements exactly how the requirements are being implemented either it's a validation either it's redirecting to the dashboard either it's asking for a two-factor authentication you got the code on the email or sms and then you need to provide that code in order to successfully log, log into the system so you need to provide all that it is okay but this problem is very good generate so chat gpt understand that chat gpt need to understand you know generate the test cases the keyword login for slightly then i have provided a context that it should be using the username and password right so though it's a very small problem but it provides the information which chat gpt needs okay now um if you go down edge cases are being provided you see that negative test cases positive test cases based on the information which i have requested the second thing is that you might be thinking of like generating the test data okay so again generate five sets of five now i'm i'm clarifying i'm telling the chat gpt that generate five sets of test data for creating a new user account now this is second thing so on a daily basis as a testers we need a test data right so you can ask the chat gpt so that because it's a generative ai right so let me copy this one and Let's go back to the chat GPT and provide this. Okay. Now you see that test data sets and now email, name, passwords, it created everything. Now, right now we are using the same chat, but what you can do is that you can go with the new new chat basically because you know generative ai or the ai works on the previous chat history as well but the important thing here is that we asked to generate the five set of data for creating a new user account so it's basically we are talking about the registration and it created the test data we simply can copy and use that in our testing so if you need some negative test data or any kind of uh, informational uh, maybe long data short data so you you can provide exactly what kind of a data chat gpt needs to generate for you okay now let's uh, go to the third use cases which we really need on the daily basis is that to write a uh, automation scripts so simply i am saying that write a selenium web driver script in java so I'm I'm telling ChatGPT to write a Selenium web driver script in Java. So I'm providing the Java. So if you want it to write using some framework, some patterns, so you can also write all those details so that ChatGPT can generate the script accordingly. Okay. So let's copy this one. Go back to ChatGPT and provide this prompt. Now here is the basic never script in java to log into the website so here you see that the complete java script code java code for selenium has been provided login successfully login failed this is you know driver dot finding the elements every 
single thing has been generated by the chat GPT. That's why it's called generative AI, right? So we are working on a daily basis. We might need to generate the test. I, I and, and I personally believe that you should be using the chat GPT to generate the code instead of writing from the scratch. So it will save a lot of time. So all these above activities actually save your time generating the test data, writing the test cases for you. So it's saving a lot of time and effort. Okay. Now uh, let's go to the other use cases like reviewing the code. So as a tester, what we need to do is that as a senior a lead or the manager, when your team is automating the steps, so you need to review the code. Okay. So you can ask ChatGPT to review the code. Or even if you don't understand some code, just ask ChatGPT to explain what this code actually does. So this is a simple, a simple code I've written and uh, we are asking the ChatGPT for this one. Okay. So again, this, it will really help you, right? So just enter this one and here is the magic. So the Python function, so this is a Python code basically. This is the Python function is valid email perform a very basic check to determine whether a given string resembles an email address okay and then again explanation of each and everything in detail so if you are looking into some code you want to review so you just ask the chat GPT it will provide each and every detail for you so you can ask to review this code as well okay then uh, we uh, we can also ch you know ask ChatGPT to summarize the bug reports or the logs. So what happens is that when you are going to the as a lead or this, as a senior or as a manager, you might need to provide a summary of the bug reports. So simply you can ask because your team might be reporting a lot of bugs, and again the management might not might be interesting and uh, in, in each and everything. So you, you need a summary. So you can ask ChatGPT for a summary. So uh, let's copy this one and just go to ChatGPT again and provide this. Summarize this bug report for the stakeholders. So the bug report says that the login page is not responding to the login attempts. When valid credentials are entered, the page shows a loading spinner indefinitely after clicking submit. This issue occurs in the latest release version 2.1 on all browsers which are being in the scope of the testing. Okay, so if I press enter, stay log out. Now, here's a complete summary and the impact. That's the beauty of chat GPT, generative AI. So you can, on the daily basis, and these tasks are, we are almost doing, we are doing testing on the daily basis. We are writing the code on the daily basis. We need test data on the daily basis. So these are, are the common scenarios which where we need generative ai to make you more productive it can the work you can do manually maybe writing a script from the scratch it might take one hour two or three hours but using the generative ai you can significantly reduce the effort required to achieve the particular task right and now last but not the least you, there are so many uh, use cases scenarios where software testers can use the generative AI. But here, the last one from this session is to create the BD scenario. So when we are doing the automation, either using Selenium, Cypress, or the Playwright. So what we need to do is that we might be using the BD or Cucumber, where we have to write the Gherkin scenarios. So you can, instead of writing from the scratch, what you can do is that you can simply ask ChatGPT. To write the gurking scenarios for you so again you need to tell exactly what you want so simply this is the prompt where we are saying that write gurking scenarios for the user distribution on an e-commerce website okay so simply go back again here to GPT and press enter so you will see that chat GPT will be writing the user registration on e-commerce side and this is all the guy can just copy and paste it right and now even based on this curriculum you can ask chat to write a script 
which can bind, which we usually call it as a step definition. So you can ask the chat GPT to do so. Now, the whole context of these using this scenario is basically it saves time because there are so many tasks which are uh, which takes effort, but using the chat GPT it will save you a time by you know writing the test cases, generating data, reviewing the code. Okay, and then it's actually enhance the efficiency, so increases the script in you know speed in writing the scripts, bug reporting. So you can it 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 will make your things doing more faster than previously when you're doing it manually, like reporting the bugs manually, writing the code from the scratch. So obviously it take it was taking a time. Now using the chat GPT, it will make you more efficient. You are more uh you know faster as compared when you are not using the AI. And one more thing is that easy access to the information. So provides the instant explanations summary for the complex code or the test scenarios you don't need to go and search on the google and try to find the exact uh, information you're looking for so you need to put effort when even you're searching then if you want to learn a tool so help tester to improve their testing knowledge by offering the explanation and examples this is what we have seen today now let's uh, let's summarize this basically. So Chat GPT is the essential tools uh, tool today because it's a generative AI tool for the software testers to automate the tasks to improve the efficiency from generating the test scripts to summarizing the bug reports and even explaining the code generating the code. So Chat GPT is a smart assistant that can help you with a wide range of testing tasks, right? So you should be using this chat GPT on the daily basis to make you more productive and you can do your work more efficiently and quickly if you're using the generative AI like chat GPT.